Hello. I would like to present LARC, Learning Activity Regularized Overlapping Communities Across Time. In this paper, we present a framework for learning communities from dynamic graphs and their activity patterns. Imagine a situation where we have a variety of communities using some sort of communication platform. For instance, we could have a work group of work colleagues, a special interest group such as fans of Star Wars, and an interest group for the upcoming World Cup. We can see communications arising in, within these communities among between any two nodes about things relevant to that community. These communications, however, could arise in multiple communities at the same time. Additionally, the nodes within these communities can belong to multiple communities at once. However, we propose that the activity in these communities only occurs when the communities themselves are active. For instance, the work group is most likely only going to be firing communications during work hours, whereas the World Cup interest group will only come into activity sometime leading up to the event itself. The activity patterns themselves are likely to be noisy. We propose that this is noise on top of the true pattern, which is more akin to something like this, wherein the activities of the communities are either high or low and exist in such a state for an extended period. Given that most data that we have on dynamic graphs is likely to be oversampled with respect to the community activities, we, are, we propose that we are likely to see this kind of behavior. We utilize this form of regularization, along with tensor factorization, to pull out these community memberships and their activations. And obtain very good results on our data sets. This can be applied not only to straightforward communication systems or social network posts. We've tested this on a variety of data sets, including a Boston bike sharing data set, this can be applied to cell phone and interpersonal communication data sets. We've used it with sports league data to find groups of teams that play together. And it can be potentially used to detect botnets and their important nodes using only network traffic. We propose this framework and provide an implementation that can be used for a variety of settings. For more information, please consult our paper in KDD 2018.